All right, earlier this morning, President Yoon Sung Yeol and his Japanese counterpart Fumio Kishida took a meaningful step to reflect on past tragedies and look forward for stronger relations in the future. They both went to the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, honoring the Korean victims of the atomic bomb that fell in 1945. Our presidential correspondent, Oh Soo Young, with more from Hiroshima. Bowing their heads in solemn silence in remembrance of a tragic past. President Yoon suk yeol and Japanese leader Premier Kishida stood side by side to honor Korean victims of the 1945 atomic bomb that wrecked Hiroshima. Marking the first ever joint visit to the monument in Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park by the leaders of the two neighboring countries, Yoon and Kishida were joined by their wives and 10 ethnic Korean survivors of the bomb. First, the joint tribute shows the two leaders are facing the heartbreaking history of Korea-Japan relations and working together to heal them. Also, the event signifies that the two countries and their common ally, the United States, will jointly respond to nuclear threats in Northeast Asia and the international community. In a brief sit-down on the sidelines of the G7 summit, Yoon and Kishida held their third bilateral meeting since mid-March, after the Yoon government presented a plan to resolve a dispute over compensating Korean victims of Imperial Japan's forced labor before and during World War II. Some of the victims were among the tens of thousands who died or suffered from the 1945 atomic bombs that fell on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yoon commended Kishida for expressing his heartfelt sorrow towards Korean victims of forced labor, saying that the Japanese PM's words after their second summit held earlier this month resonated with South Koreans. Welcoming Yoon to his hometown of Hiroshima, the Japanese leader said his visit to the Memorial Stone was important for both Seoul-Tokyo relations and furthering world peace. With the G7 summit taking place today as well, I hope we can share views on the direction of bilateral relations and ways to strengthen cooperation between our countries on global issues. Since their rapprochement began in March, the two countries have been working to quickly restore trade and military intel sharing and expand other areas of strategic cooperation as they face common challenges including North Korea's nuclear threat, along with geopolitical and trade disturbances that affect their economic security. Attending the G7 summit upon the invitation of the Japanese PM, President Yoon has been on a diplomatic streak of holding bilaterals with other world leaders in Hiroshima. Underscoring their shared values as liberal democracies, President Yoon has been focusing on building economic partnerships, as well as committing to multilateral frameworks on global issues, from food security and development to climate change. Symbolizing Seoul and Tokyo's efforts to mend fences as neighbors and join hands to bridge gaps and advance cooperation across the international community, Yoon's office says Yoon and Kishida returned to the Memorial Park for a separate tribute with other invited world leaders to the G7 summit. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News, Hiroshima.